going to be filming a video all about piercings and I'm going to start uh, this new series. I'm not sure what to call it yet. I think I'm going to call it like um, discussions on and then like a certain topic. But anyways, I'm just going to pick certain topics like for example today I'm going to talk about piercings. And then next time I'm going to talk about like things like braces, um, how I maintain my eyebrows, things like maybe high school, how to get by on like academics for high school and all that good stuff so um you can leave requests on what i would like what i should make um my next video on but anyway today my topic is going to be on piercings and first i'm gonna just I, I get a lot of requests about my piercings so i'm gonna give you guys um my thoughts on it and i'm gonna tell you guys my experience and um my future plans and ask uh answer some frequently asked questions about my piercings so first off um i'm gonna tell you how many piercings i have honestly i don't know right now let me think um, I think I have a total of nine piercings. So on my right ear, if it would focus, on my right ear I have uh, one, two, three, three cartilage piercings and uh, four lobe piercings. Or this one's kind of in the middle of piercing a lobe. But anyways, on this ear I have a total of seven piercings. On my other ear I have a total of two piercings. But the second one I do not wear. My second lobe piercing I don't wear ever because yeah. I'll have a reason why but anyways let me show you share with you guys my experience so my first set of piercings I got when I was six years old um, I don't remember too much from that day but I know I got it at Claire's and I was very very scared my parents and my sister and my cousins convinced me to do it I was very scared we were at a mall um, and yeah I got my first set done at the same time so both with guns um, or piercing guns I got them done at the same time so yeah that's where these first two came from um next piercings were my second low piercings my second set of low piercings i got these done at home with the piercing gun and i obviously would not recommend doing it at home i don't know what i was thinking but i got it done when i was 12 years old um yeah second set of low piercings um third piercing trip was when i was um so the second piercing was 12. the third trip was probably when i was 13 14 i got them done um, at Piercing Pagoda, which is just one of those stands at the malls. And um, I got it done with a friend. I got my cartilage, my top cartilage done, as well as my third low piercing right here. So I got these two done at the same time at, um, with guns as well. All my piercings are done with guns. Um, fourth trip was when I was 15 maybe. I got two more cartilages, this one and this one my two top ones and this last one in the middle here this random little one that's not really a cartilage or a lobe it's kind of in the between this one i got done recently so when i was um 18 i got these this one done i kind of just wanted to complete my whole area because i had three cartilages and three lobe piercings and i had a little empty spot in the middle so i decided to just get it done i actually have a vid vlog today so i actually have this on film i'll leave a link below to the blog post of the little clip of my pierce when I got my piercing done when my last piercing okay so that's my experience um most frequently asked questions question is does it hurt and um personally I have a decent level of pain tolerance I guess it depends some people think it hurts a lot but to me um no piercings do not hurt at all my low ones really it just feels like a little sting um, I think the worst part of it is how anxious you are before you get the piercing. Um, like, you know, just when you're sitting in a chair and when they, like, mark it or mark the spot and stuff. And, like, it's, I guess you're just very nervous. But the piercing itself does not hurt. Um, if you want to get it done, I would definitely recommend it. Because it really does not hurt and it's worth it. And I have so many. If I, if it hurt an awful lot, I would not have so many piercings. Um, so, yeah, um... I guess pain level on a scale of 10 would be like maybe a 1 or a 2. Um, piercings do not hurt. Um, okay, so if you guys want to know like how piercings are done, so obviously you want to... Okay, what place I would recommend? I know that piercing guns are not good um, to pierce your ears with. I know that needles are a lot better and um, I know that your cartilage can actually shatter, but... I don't know why I didn't listen and I got all mine done with guns, but either way, I didn't don't have any trouble with um, any of my piercings. I obviously would not recommend getting it done with a gun since it's not safe, but if that's the way you want to go, then, you know, it's personal 
your personal preference but um, if you are okay with getting it done with the needle I would obviously recommend that over getting it done with a gun but um, yeah so that's that and the way you get it done is by gun obviously because I've never got it done with the needle um, you pretty much just pick out your earring and um, they mark a spot with a little um, pen or I don't know what they do it with and then you know when you get it marked you make sure you have it exactly where you want it and it's okay to feel like be kind of picky with it and have them move the mark up and down like a million times before you get the perfect position because you do want it to be absolutely perfect I did not get my piercings like completely like one at a time up my ear perfectly but somehow they just worked out to be very very even if you can see and so yeah if you plan to get a complete air like this I would suggest and you haven't started I suggest you start from the bottom and you know make sure all of them are spaced perfectly because um, yeah you don't want it to be really messy and so yeah after they mark the spot um, obviously it's a new package of a gun and you know make sure everything's sterile and yeah you just get it pierced and it's very easy you uh, how I maintain my piercings I clean them well when you first get it you want to clean it every day with the ear care solution they provide you and you just want to use uh, put some on a cotton ball I mean not a cotton ball a cotton swab and you just want to clean the front and the back and you want to twist it so it doesn't get stuck and you want to twist uh, just twist it a few times or one or two full times and do that for two months um, don't switch your piercing really quickly don't be too eager to switch it it might get infected I know people who has switched it the day they got it pierced and um, it obviously hurts an awful lot and I don't recommend it so I pretty much keep mine on for I kept my same um, earrings on as I got them pierced because I just like plain studs I think it looks a lot more classier and clean uh, as compared to like having big earrings on it or different kinds of earrings I feel like it looks kind of rocker chic and that's not the look I go for so I keep diamond studs on all of them. Um, following up after two months, I pretty much clean it maybe once a month. I don't do too much to them. Um, the piercing stuff does not hurt, but I'm telling you that when it gets infected, which does happen, um, when it gets infected, it hurts an awful lot, especially the cartilage ones. So when you remove it and when you put it back in, sometimes it's hard to find the hole and like sometimes it bleeds and sometimes it gets infected so you know just be careful and cautious but nothing too bad really happens all my cartilages are very uh, done very well and um, they're, they don't get infected oftenly at all maybe one of them gets infected within a year but continue cleaning it with air clear solution and stuff and I also remove all my piercings at once and I uh, clean them all in alcohol and then I clean my entire ear with the air care solution I leave them out for maybe one or two days and then I put them all back in so that way like I that's like my way of deep cleaning it so that I make sure it doesn't get infected and yeah so that's that's that um I guess it's not too much to say um my future plans of piercings and my thoughts I always get asked like you know are you gonna get any more piercings and my thoughts on like body and facial piercings Ooh. hold on Okay, so for me, um, body and facial piercings are not my thing. I'm the type of girl who prefers to keep my face and body pure and free of tattoos and piercings and, you know, all that stuff. I'm not saying that I don't like them because you guys, I'm pretty sure if you've followed my blog for a long time, you know that I've been wanting a belly piercing and, yeah, for a very, very, very long time. But I actually stopped wanting it a few years ago. And I'm for sure never ever getting one because I want to keep my body and face very pure. And the only um, piercings that I'm okay with is my ears because I feel like um, it doesn't really matter. And yeah, and even though I know that you can remove the piercing, it leaves a black dot. So I feel like, I don't know, I'm just not okay with that. And I want to leave it as clean and pure as possible. So no, I will never get another piercing besides on my ears. Um, my right ear is completely full. So... As for my left ear, the reason I don't pierce it is because when I sleep, I do not like the feeling of sleeping on the piercings because it just doesn't feel comfortable to me. I know that I can sleep on it, but I don't like to. So when I sleep, the only ones I remove are my first set. Um, and so this ear will be completely like empty of piercings and I just sleep on this side. 
um i always keep all these on when i shower everything it's always on there unless i'm like deep cleaning it so yeah that's the reason why i don't get more piercings on that side but i'm not quite sure yet because i might want to start filling up this hair too because i really like getting piercings there's just this um i don't know it's just fun i guess and unfortunately i can't really fit any more piercings on this hair but um i don't know i'm figuring something out so i might get more piercings in the future but if i do get piercings it'll be either lobe or cartilage i also i'm not going to pierce this part of my ear and anything else besides lobe and cartilage because i think that's what looks classy and you know um so yeah but i do think pier other piercings are very pretty especially navel piercings and um i think lip piercings are very very pretty too but it's not for me so i would not get any other piercing in the future which pretty much answers the question and uh, yeah i think that's all uh if you were getting a piercing if you wanted to get it with the gun i would recommend piercing pagoda that is my favorite place they're very careful they're very nice and i've not never had a problem with them at all and their earrings are very nice as well um but yeah i if you're not comfortable with getting it with the gun because i do know that it's not safe i would definitely recommend um you know somewhere like if you're living in san francisco there's places called like body manipulations and like those places where you get um where you do it with a needle and it's very very professional and yeah i would definitely recommend one of those places but you can just um search it up on yelp or you know ask around or yeah just look for a highly rated place that's very sanitary and you might want to call in and ask them um yeah take a look but that's pretty much it i don't have too much to say in this video is running pretty long and i want to keep these kind of short and sweet so that's it on piercings if you have any further questions on piercings feel free to leave them in the comment section below and i'll answer all of them um or all the ones i can but i always try to get to all my comments as you guys know and if you guys have any recommendations of what future topics i want to i should make of the series on um also leave in the comment section below i already plan to do um, one on braces one on maintaining my eyebrows because i got a request on that and also maybe some relationship ones i don't know if you will have more a more specific topic you would like me to discuss maybe about like how to maintain a long relationship or like things like that just leave them in the comment section below and i'll take a look and i will fulfill your requests if i can and yeah okay thanks so thanks so much for watching bye guys